Hi, welcome to my studio. I've got a very, very quick video. Just wanted to show a few handheld sharpeners. On previous videos, I've done um, crank handle sharpeners and other sharpeners with pastels. And I just wanted to show you these new sharpeners that I've got. Now, these two brass ones, solid brass, are made by a company called M&R, the professional uh, solid brass sharpeners. It's a German company. This one's got two holes in there, one very, very large, much larger than any pencil I've actually got. And then the other side is your standard size. This one's called the Bullet, and that's just the standard size on there. That's about £3.90, I think, around about that price. This one's about £5, which is expensive for a sharpener, especially a handheld sharpener. But being solid brass, really heavy, it's going to last you a lifetime. You can get replacement blades around about uh, 3 95 for 10 So that's reasonable. Once you've bought that, that's not too bad at all. This one you may have seen on a previous video of mine. It's a comb sharpener. Nice sharp. Um, really great for graphite. And you also got little areas on the sides as well. So you can do those technical pens with the tiny leads in them. So very versatile. So why am I even doing the video? Okay, my standard pencil that I use almost all the time is Carbothello and it's a hard lead in this pastel and it sharpens easily with a crank sharpener. The other pencil that I'm using as well these days is Pit Pastel Pencil. Very, very similar to the Carbothello as I showed in a recent video. Now, if you use Caran d'Ache, that's much, much softer. And that's when you're probably going to get possible, possible breakages using a crank sharpener. It's a little bit too aggressive for them. So with these handheld sharpeners, this comb one, it's a really good sharpener. Works nice and well on the Caran d'Ache. No problems there. I get another pencil if I try this one as well you can see that's very very sharp even sharper sharper than the comb one as you can see by the quality of the shaving that's coming off obviously it's good quality wood as well and it's nice and sharp that nib on there I wouldn't normally sharpen the Caran d'Ache that much because it even Though it's not broken the nib at all, it's still prone to snapping on the edge just because it's so soft. And you can see how soft it is making a mark on my finger there. So it's a very, very quick video. Just wanted to show you these sharpeners as, you know, another alternative. This one is not as easy to hold for me. I prefer the round one. Obviously, the other alternative with these soft pencils is to sharpen with a blade, and I show you doing myself doing that on a previous video. The thing I don't like about the blade myself, time consuming, and personally, if you don't practice quite a bit with the blade, then you're more likely to actually get breakages, not get a nice point on it, and spend ages doing it. So, you know, it's for me, it's not the way to go, although lots of artists do actually sharpen these soft pencils with a blade. So, just a very quick video. Hope that helps some of you uh, in your decision making on sharpening pastels. And I'll see you all again real soon. On my tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, I've got lots of full length videos, some up to eight or nine hours long. I've got ebooks on there as well. If you're looking for reference photos, because sometimes it's really hard to get very good, decent, copyright-free reference photos you can paint and draw from. My website, www.wildlifeart-online.com, has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community, where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlifeart. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.